hello everyone it is a really nice morning but it is very very hot um i haven't done my makeup in quite a bit so i wanted to do my makeup today and kind of just chit chat and talk and show you guys my makeup i'm just in my bathroom right now i'm hoping the lighting is pretty good i have some bright um bulbs in here my hair isn't really done i just like threw it up and i did get my lashes done so i kind of look a little weird right now because all i have are my lashes and like no other makeup so i want to put some makeup on um i just went down for a nap so i have a little bit of time to get some stuff done i just put some serum on so i think my makeup should go on pretty good i did a little ulta haul this morning on my instagram story and showed you guys just a couple things i picked up um i got these little mini shape tapes they were like $10 a piece. I don't know how long they'll last, but really good for travel. Um, and then I got this Shape Tape Glow Wand from Tarte. Uh, I've never tried this before, but it looks really nice. And I just need some brightening. Like my eye, my under eye bags are on another level. Um, I really need to order another Estee Lauder Double Wear, but honestly, I don't wear that much foundation in the summer. So I get more use out of this in other months. I do need to order another one though because I am very low on this one. This one is 2N2 buff. It's a little bit lighter and I want to do some self tanner. So I'm going to do uh, a little bit of this and then just use this CC cream, um, the It Cosmetics, which has SPF 50. This one's in medium tan. It is definitely tanner than what I am right now, um, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on. Um, so my birthday is in a couple weeks and I did book an appointment to go to um, get some Botox and possibly lip filler. I don't know. It depends on how much it is. I booked this appointment months ago and the only availability that they had was literally my birthday week. So I was like, okay, like I'll take it. <laughs> Um, it'll be a birthday gift to myself. Definitely looking forward to it. Um, this will be my first time getting Botox. Um, I told you guys about like my eyebrow issue. So this eyebrow is always much higher than this eyebrow. I'm very like self-conscious about it because every picture that I take, I look like my, eye my eyebrows are like uneven, but, um, this, this eye and this eyebrow just droop. They're very droopy on one side. I'm hoping that they can correct that a little bit. Um, and you know, I'm just like getting older and I want to see if I'll like Botox. I just feel like my, my skin has changed so much after having Kaden. I'm noticing more wrinkles. One thing that I've heard is that once you get Botox, you like can't stop because it fades so quickly. And then you'll just like keep noticing more and more wrinkles and you'll just like it's basically becomes addicting it's what i've heard so um and it is expensive so we will see how i like it i'm hoping i can kind of bring you guys along with me um i've been using this brush that i got from real techniques for my foundation and i really like it because it just makes things so much easier to apply i actually feel like i should do a little bit of this um really know how it's gonna look but I've also heard about a lip flip with Botox instead of getting filler in the lips so it's basically like the way that they inject it it gives you a little bit of a flip to your lip and I don't like my top lip like I'm fine with the size of my lips I could use a little bit of plumping but I'm okay with the size. I just don't like that like my top lip kind of like points down. I am excited to see how I like it. And I'm going to someone actually in like Delaware and maybe she'll let me share her info. It's actually my friends. I got referred to her from a friend of mine who goes to her and I'm actually not that far from Delaware like I think it's only like 40 minutes so a little update on us 
moving and new construction, buying a house. Um, honestly, it just doesn't feel like the right time with the way that the market is right now because it's so high. I think we're just gonna wait until it comes back down. And who knows that when that'll be. Um, but also we visited one area, like one town. Well, like two towns, but we visited only like one area of the, the state that we were in. So we really wanna like check out some other areas um, and this is also pending if my husband like gets a certain position that he wants with the company that he's still with there. So like he will be transferring, but he's hoping to get a different position. So there's just like a lot of unknowns and a lot of factors here. And I think we're just gonna wait until we feel like it's the right thing. I mean, we'd still have this lease for this house until next April. So like, the following year so we will be here until next year um i think it's just a matter of like us like having another baby or like you know us trying in the fall like whatever we decide we just need to work around that um and depending on his job and all those things you know we might need to find a place to rent there, which would also make it a lot easier to end up buying because we will be there, we will physically be there. Um, I know a lot of people right now are literally buying houses sight unseen and I know that it's common for like military families and stuff, but for me, like for this being such a huge decision and only visiting a town once, like it's just, I just don't think it's practical. I don't think it's smart to just jump into it um, and be like literally purchasing a house without even seeing it in person. You know what I mean? So there's just a lot that we're thinking about. We're taking things slow, but we are still going to be in this process and it might just take a lot longer. Right now, we are in a lease. You know, we don't have to sell a home right now. It's a seller's market right now. It's not a buyer's market. And I think we're just, you know, starting to realize that. And I also got a lot of responses about new construction and what to be aware of and what to look out for and how lumber is like so expensive right now. And I think for me, like, I just don't really want to be at the top of our budget if we're moving south. Like, that's not the point of moving south like we want to move there because we want to be paying less um so like i don't want to be buying at the top of the market you know what i mean a lot of decisions that we have to make and we're just trying to take things slow i know that i've been oh gosh i should have grabbed my own it's just just a lot of things that we are thinking about trying to make decisions but we still have until April, like of next year. So we have time. And that's one of the reasons why we decided to look at new construction is because we do have the time for something to be built. Um, but unfortunately with new construction, it is still so high right now. For all building materials, lumber, it is just like astronomical, the prices. We still have high hopes about it. Um, we just don't think like right now is the time and that wasn't really like what we were thinking anyway. You know, we're not in any rush, but I wanted to give an update on that. Um, we wanna go back down to another area and check it out. There's a lot more places that we want to visit. So yeah, it's kind of where we're at right now. So I'm going to do my eyebrows that are very uneven. My skin is so incredibly dry. It is just flaking. Oh my God, I can't stand it. So I just finished doing my face, my eyeshadow. I just popped like literally one shadow in my um, crease. I use the um, Jaclyn Hill palette, but a little bit of like a brightening shadow in my inner corner, my eyebrow, and then I'm going to do my lips and I got a few lip glosses um, when I went to Ulta yesterday. So I will show you guys what I got and I did already share this on Instagram, 
um, but I'm just gonna do like a nude lip today and I've just been loving gloss. I'll usually put like a lip liner underneath just so that if the gloss comes off, there's some color underneath, but um, I'll just line my lips and then pop the lip gloss on and that'll be it. So I ended up getting three of these glosses. Two of them are Morphe and the Madison Beer collab. Um, they're pretty nice like nude colors. One's a little bit darker than the other and one's a little bit more like pinky. And then I also got a um, KKW Beauty gloss. And I talked about this on my Instagram story, but I am like so not impressed with their packaging, especially for it being KKW Beauty. Like I was expecting a lot more. I've never tried anything from their brand. I've heard great things about their lipsticks um, and their lip products, but it literally is the cheapest packaging I've ever seen. Like there is no label on it. There's there's no engraving. There's there's nothing. There's literally nothing. It's just a plain. I don't, and it's just the cheapest plastic. I just don't really understand. I mean, if they could literally, they literally got the, I mean, it has a nice doe foot applicator, but other than that, it's just extremely cheap packaging. <laughs> For the Kardashians, you know, I just like, would expect something a little bit more upscale. I mean, even Morphe's packaging, which is so much cheaper, pretty much half the price. Sorry, the lighting, it always gets messed up. I really, really, really need a new camera. <laughs> Um, but the packaging is even like nicer on Morphe and this is half the price. I think this lip gloss was $20, this was 10 and it's nicer. I mean, it's still plasticky, but it's, I don't know. I'm gonna do Strip Down Lip Liner by MAC. This is my absolute favorite. If you guys ever wanna know what is on my lips, I'm most likely just wearing this with a nude gloss over top. I have, oh, I really need to do my hair because I have like all my small hair sticking out. Um, I have a ton of new gloss nude glosses that I love. I'll just grab anything like I really don't <laughs> I don't go crazy so really My go-to lip liner. It's just the perfect Nude it gives you a little bit of like deepness, but it's not like too dark I just love it and I feel like it works for so many skin tones and this is literally like all I usually wear. Sometimes I'll put Honey Love Lipstick. My favorite combo ever is Strip Down Lip Liner by MAC with Honey Love Lipstick over top. That is usually what I wear if I want to wear a lipstick, but I'll just be doing a gloss today. Try this out. This one's a pretty nude color. It's the first nude. I think it's Nude One, so it's probably the lightest of all of them, but I think with the lip liner, yeah. With the lip liner underneath, it's not too bad. Ugh, I'm not too fond of this scent or the taste. It just like, ew. I don't know why, but like, the color's pretty, but like it has the grossest smell and like, Taste. It grosses me out. I would almost rather it have a little bit of a scent to it. Can't even explain. Ooh, I can't even explain the taste. It's like if you were to get a lip gloss from like the dollar store or something. I mean, I'm nothing against the dollar store. It's just like. Ugh. Oh my god. I don't even know if I can wear this again. And I like the color. It's just the taste of it is awful. Ugh. All right, I might need to do the Madison Beer one because I honestly don't know if I can take that. Maybe I'll do the more pinky one. This one's like more nude and this one's more pinky. I'll probably do the pinky one. It doesn't taste bad. I, I can't describe it, but I don't know what it is. This just tastes horrible. Yeah, a lot better. It has a like, nice, light, sweet scent to it. And I'm not constantly smelling it when I'm like, you know, when it's on my lips. So I just got back from dropping Grayson off to get groomed. Um, I have a couple of things that came in the mail, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Kaden was napping, I managed to get a 
haul done. Um, I'm just doing like a like to know it posts and linking everything, but I took pictures for everything that I got, so got that done. I edited the pictures with my presets. Um, if you guys are still interested in them, I'll have a link below to all my presets. You can get six of them. So I have to do that, and I just ran up here to get into comfy clothes because I was wearing these jean shorts. Um, I, whenever I'm just sitting at home, I can't just sit in <laughs> uncomfortable clothes, so I just changed really quick into sweatpants, and I'm gonna go downstairs. The kids just finished lunch, brought lunch home for them because they still didn't eat. And yeah, so I kind of just been running around getting whatever I can done and I haven't really pulled out the vlog camera, but um, I got a couple things in. So I want to show you guys that downstairs. So I just got in some more Nespresso pods. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you okay? Um, so I wanted to show you guys just what I got. Some of my favorites. You know how to open it? Um, so I love the double espresso Chiaro. I don't know how to say that, but I got two boxes of them, I think. Two, yeah, no, I only got one box of the, that, and then I also got a half calf. Um, just because sometimes I'll like to have like a nighttime coffee, not like before bed, but like, you know, midday, if I'm struggling a little bit, I'll like to have a half calf. Okay, I'm trying to take them out of the box, Kaden. And then I also got this one, which is one of my all-time favorites. It is so, so good. Strong, but sweet. I love this one, and sometimes they sell out of it, so I got two boxes of that. And then I also think I just got a caramel. Oh no, I got caramel cookie. So, I needed to stock up. I was completely out of all my Nespresso's, so. So I wanna know if this is an issue with anyone, but I constantly am putting stuff all over my steps. Like whenever I need to bring something upstairs or it just needs to go upstairs, I'll just throw it on my steps and then my steps are just piles of crap all the time. So I got these baskets. I gotta open this up. Um, I got these baskets from Target. I still have to take the tag off, but I have one for down here and then I have another one for upstairs. And they fit really good on the step. Katie, where are you going? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Come here. This is why I have a gate everywhere actually thinking about getting the one where it's like smaller at the bottom and then it kind of like goes up like it's actually a step it's called a step basket or something um but it was like kind of expensive on amazon and i was like no i'm not doing that so i got these and i literally just throw these are just dirty clothes that i need to bring up but i just throw everything in there an up basket a down basket we're keeping it there at least it looks a little bit better than just having a bunch of stuff all over the steps But let me know if you're that type of person that just always puts things on the step. I Every time people come over there's just always things there like right now I have bins at the top of the steps that need to come down. I just thought I would share that I love you. All right, why don't you let me go in and get him because I don't think you can bring the cart in I got another Young Living order and I actually forgot to change my last ER order so a lot of the things that I got again are the same as I got last month. That was totally my fault. <laughs> but I ended up getting a bunch of more free oils as well. Um, I got Gentle Baby for free. I got Kid Essence Kid Power which smells amazing actually. And then these are the ones that I got last time. Valor Purification Jade Lemon Seedlings Calm for Caden. Release, I also got this for free, which is a big Thieves hand sanitizer. Stress Away Bath Bombs. And then I got a Loyalty Oil. It's literally called Loyalty. It's over here. And I don't know what this blend is, but it's... It's really nice, it smells really good. 
And right now, Anthony actually put a nice blend in that smells very citrusy. He did lemon, myrtle, <laughs> grapefruit, and orange. Yeah, smells very beachy, citrusy. Really good. I have my most used oils here, and then I have my entire collection, my big collection upstairs. But this smells really good. Can't put my finger on what the scent is. Um, sorry, my autofocus is so out of whack. I, I don't know what the scent is, but it's, it's like minty, but very fresh smelling. I really like that one, so. Kitchen is clean. Okay, so it is literally weeks later and I wanted to finish out this vlog um, and talk about my experience when I went to the esthetician. Um, I guess that's what it's called, I don't know. Uh, to do the Botox and everything and my experience and what happened, what did I end up getting and all of that. I told you guys on Instagram that I would talk about it in a vlog that way it's like in one place and you can refer to it instead of me just doing a quick instagram story and then still getting questions about it so don't mind the packages in the back i got my stuff from the nordstrom sale so i ended up going and we talked for a while i talked about what i wanted what i was thinking and my biggest concern mainly what did i what i wanted done was to even out my eyebrows but I assumed, now I could be wrong, but this is just what I was told, I assumed that you were able to lift your eyebrow a little bit depending on like where you are putting the Botox. I talked about my insecurity before about my eyebrows, but I guess I was wrong because essentially you are relaxing the muscles, so I would only be able to bring this eyebrow down a little bit. And sometimes when I make expressions, like they look even, but most of the time, this eyebrow is always higher. I try to even them out as much as I can with makeup. She told me that she wanted me to think about it because she would only really want to bring this one down to even them out so that this muscle isn't working so hard to like push this up. Um, and I just like wasn't sure. She was great because she didn't like pressure me into anything. She didn't like just want to do it. And I was also a new client. This is all new for me. So I just think it was good that she was giving me the option to like come back and really think about it. But at the same time, I drove like over an hour to go there. So I was like, and it was my birthday week. So I was like, you know, this is my birthday present to myself. I kind of came a little far. Like I really want to get something out of this trip. So Another thing that I was interested in was a lip flip and that is what I ended up getting. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and it is finally started to kick in but it's feeling a little bit weird and I don't know how it will be weeks from now, months from now. I think it's only supposed to last about two to three months. She said around two months. So it doesn't last very long and that's usually how Botox is especially when you get it for the first time. It doesn't last a while and it wears pretty much in like three months. Like as far as the forehead and stuff, that's why you keep getting it. Lip filler is a lot different because it's more permanent. There's a fly flying around that's pissing me off. Oh my God, is anyone else like done with the flies? I open my door for two seconds and there's like five flies in the house. So if you see it flying around, I'm sorry, it's driving me nuts. Um, So lip filler is a little bit more permanent, I guess semi-permanent. Like it, you can probably see while I'm talking, my lips like a little weird. I'll, I'll talk about it. Lip filler, it lasts a little bit longer. It can probably last, I think, up to like six months or something. I don't know. I'm sure it depends on how much you get, your first time, if you've been getting it, but it's definitely more permanent. Like Botox wears off faster. So for me, I wanted Botox first and my biggest concern was the eyebrow situation. And I think I decided that I do want to try it, but I don't want a lot and I really want to even out my eyebrows. It just sucks that for me, I love this side of my face because it feels more lifted and this side feels more droopy. Like I don't like this side of my face. I wish my eyebrow was kind of up a little bit more and it was more lifted. Now I do do guasa. I like do all these things to help lift and firm my face, but 
I just like this side better and she's like well if you like that side lifted better then like I don't want to mess with it because I can end up bringing it down and then you not liking it I also told her that I like always take pictures of myself and I'm on video because that's what I do for a living so she was like just a little cautious about that she is all about being natural I'll leave her info below um, if you guys are interested She's on Instagram, um, she has a pretty good following, and she is very natural. Like, she doesn't make people look crazy, because that's my biggest fear, right? Like, I don't want anyone to look at me and be like, oh, she's got work done. That's not what it, this is about. It's about preventative and things that I'm a little bit insecure about. And I'm approaching my 30s, I'm 28, so, you know, I'm getting up there. And this is when you start developing wrinkles and the, these are the years that you need to really start taking care of your skin And your face is like the most important your face is like the first to go So anyway, I ended up getting a lip flip and I ended up getting 20 units and she did like four little pokes two on each side um, And it did not hurt at all like I literally didn't flinch um, For Botox they use the tiniest tiniest little needle so it didn't hurt at all, and I assumed that for my lips it probably would hurt a little bit more, but it was not like filler. I looked up a ton of videos about lip flips because I was really interested in it instead of just going right for lip filler because it is more permanent. And personally, I really like the size of my lips. Like, I didn't feel like they needed to be bigger. I overline my lips a little bit when I wear lip liner and when I put like lipstick on and stuff, but I, I didn't want to alter my lips yet um i like my cupid's bow like i i like the size of my lips um you know i would like them to be a little bit more plump but using beauty products and stuff like that like you can make things look a little bit different you know you can contour the nose to make it look slimmer there's things that you can do without actually injecting yourself so i wanted to wait for the lip filler she said that depending on how the lip flip with the botox worked most people do both, um, but like a lip flip and um, lip filler. But she's like, see how you like that, and then you can come back and let me know what you want. If you want a little bit more Botox, if you want a little bit of filler, whatever. Um, so I want to see how it is over the next couple months. But I'm starting to notice how it is to like eat, drink things. Um, and it's your mouth, right? So it's not really like you can't move your forehead. It's a totally different feel when it's your lips and your mouth. So essentially, what a lip flip does is it relaxes the muscle. Now, I only got it on my top lip, so I didn't get anything on the bottom. Um, it relaxes the muscles so that your lip doesn't flip under or pull as much when you smile. So. Now when I smile, now I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see of this, but when I smile, I wanna be able to see most of my top lip. And before, I'll show you pictures, I felt like my top lip just like disappeared and all you could see was my bottom lip. So that is why I wanted it. Last week, on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it's about five days, it's five days now. And I think it kicked in on the end of Saturday into Sunday. So I honestly, I would probably say Saturday, midday. It started to kick in because I had a hard time eating. And she told me that that's how it would be. Now, I don't know how long this was to last for. I've never gotten Botox before. Like, I'm not sure if it's going to be like this for two months. Or if it's just like this when the Botox initially kicks in. I've never done this before, so I don't know. I pucker. My lips just look a little bit different. This part in the center, like my cupid's bow, kind of sticks out a little bit more. So it's like more prominent. Um, I don't see as much here. And I think the biggest thing is like these muscles right here in the center that really pull in when you smile. Now, some of you guys said that you noticed it just from my Instagram, but I also like have filters on which could alter my lips a little bit. But let me know if you see a difference just from watching this video because this is like raw. I'll show you a couple pictures of what it looks like when I smile because these are the pictures that I actually showed her so that she could get an idea of like what I wanted. Um, and I feel bad because I didn't vlog there. 
but I think I got caught up in just like talking to her so much and also I was a new patient so it just like felt weird I actually wanted my friend to go with me because she was the one that like recommended this girl to me and they wouldn't allow her to come and I was hoping that she'd vlog for me um, but because of COVID and stuff they, they would only allow one person at a time here's a picture of me smiling nothing wrong with my smile but my top lip kind of curls in a little bit and then you can really see my bottom lip this looks a little bit disproportionate to me um and i've always felt like my top lip if i didn't like overline it i always felt like it kind of like pointed down and now with my side profile you guys can tell me but with my side profile do you think that my top lip like sticks out a little bit more you think it looks the same happy with the way that they look i'm happy with the way my lips look when i put like lip gloss on and lip liner i put a little bit of like light pink lip liner on with some lip gloss so i didn't like overline my lips like crazy i just lined them normally um and that is what i have on my lips a lot of people get lip flips if they have a very gummy smile that's a pretty popular like procedure for people like when they smile and you see a lot of their gums they will get a lip flip so that when they smile their lip doesn't go in so much um and doesn't show their gums as much if that makes sense well i do notice a little bit and i have very like chunky cheeks but i do notice a little bit um of my smile like improving from that i think the most annoying thing for me is i feel like i look weird eating I cannot go like this like if I try to rub my lips together it takes me time to do that like I'm really working my muscle to be able to go like that it seems ridiculous but it's very hard for me to rub my lips together um, drinking out of a straw looks really weird because that this center part kind of like sticks out a little bit and I cannot do mouthwash because my mouth does not allow me to get the mouthwash in the upper part <laughs> of my mouth so that i noticed is like very very hard um so we'll see how i like it i really don't know how it's gonna look over the next couple months i don't know if this is gonna stay like this um my husband started to notice it like he would notice when i would eat something or when i would drink something he'd be like why do your lips look like that um and i was like i don't know i think it's just kicking in like i think it's just the botox is starting to work but so out of everything that i talked about that is what i ended up getting and i think i will probably go back for botox um but i definitely want to be positive on what i want and i love the fact that it doesn't last as long obviously it is some money to do these types of things but i love the fact that it's not like permanent let me know if any of you guys have experienced a lip flip what you think about it did it help you did you continue to do it um do you prefer lip filler over a lip flip i don't know let me know in the comments um also if you guys aren't about like botox or anything like that you don't need to be on board you don't need to like this video or anything but um i just wanted to talk about my experience and this is the first time i've ever gotten anything as far as like injectables done i have never done any botox or any type of stuff to my face the only thing i've ever gotten was cortisone shots for my pimples when i would get raging freaking cystic acne after i got off birth control and I would literally have to go to the dermatologist and get cortisone shots because they would not go down. That is the only thing I've gotten injected in my face. Um, but other than that, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I, didn't, I don't want this video to be like extremely long. But if you want me to do a little Q&A or like answer any of your questions, maybe I'll do something on Instagram and let me know. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.